Matt and Lika speaking. And I am today talking to you from Petit Plaza in Dallas. I'm not even joking. Um, just behind me there, this is the book repository, which apparently Oswald shot to the FK. So I'm in Petit Plaza. Grass Knob is just over by there. Check this out guys, we're coming to look in for the um, Tataria stuff because I got my long lived Tataria t-shirt on ready, check that out and check that out on that corner, yeah they got some fantastic old architectures, looks a bit like New Orleans by here, and they got beehives, the old beehive itch, they know it right? But I'm British, I'll do some more videos and uh, keep you updated. There's lots of exciting things coming up, coming along, as you know. Let's get across. Mm -hmm. I'm getting quite into fancy trains. We're out here in the middle of Sam Houston State National Forest. We're just doing it. it. Hey, look, what's this Welshman doing here? How does this happen? I know it's a bit yeah, well, you can live your whole life with three words in the car, that's all. You know what I mean? That's the word. So you think you can tell? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Heaven from hell, blue skies and rain. Can you tell a green field from a coastal rail? Smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? Alfred. 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 Oi, oi, flat of British Maine. Lika speaking today, live in Galveston, Texas. Not Gaviscon. I say Galveston, Texas. Um, and the place is like being blitz. There's a lot of old Tataria here, though, guys. That one it says on there. 1895, but I very much doubt it. And what you find is all the roofs seem to be missing. That building there, there, roof seems to be missing. That one there, roof seems to be missing. Check the Art Deco building in the background. So that's 1920s, this is a railway museum. So there's a shit ton of Tatarian buildings, guys. Let me just show you. Galveston, Texas. I'll post more while I have a little mosey around and check everything out. Peace and love. Stay up, big. Oi, oi. Hiya, guys. It's me, Martin. Walking with Cheryl, and we're having um, a last little walk around this area. I've been fortunate, we've been fortunate enough to stay in this place for the last month. And it's just the most fantastic area of Houston you could possibly imagine. The houses are fantastic. It's like being, yeah, look at that. I've been in the woods. There's all trees, big trees around and critters below. So, absolute joyous place. Very fortunate to be here. Uh, what weren't we? Yes. In the bright, hot, hot sun. That was a bit fantastic. So, you never know where Flight of British and uh, front row seat are going to end up next. So keep watching, and we surprise you all. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's let you all. Oi, oi, Martin speaking, just found the most incredible place. Um, maybe the kitchen yard. Check this out, it's like its own little village. The groovy little bags.
thanks. Well, there's a lizard thing run under there, though. Just seen a lizard thing run under there, though. <laughs> A lizard? A lizard thing. Look at the view here, man. I Look know. at that. There's the column. Oi, oi, flat of British. Mate, Liga speaking. At the Capitol building in Austin. It's Texas State Capitol building. And there's a lot of really old shit. Look at that over there. You can see it. Really, really old stone buildings. The center of Austin. Uh, look at that, guys. Whew, size of it. And American History Memorial. Oh, it's really nice here, isn't it? Oi, oi, flat of British in downtown Austin in Texas and hitting like an old world part of town. You can see all the buildings over there, just old stone. Looks like something out of like, you know, old England. But check, they left the cymatic pattern in the window there. That is absolutely amazing. It's a Jesuit church. Um, that bit up there looks a different stone. You know, it's a different colour stone. So. That's been added later. And raised door. Oh, that's pretty fantastic. As you can see. Yeah. Let's go in it. Yeah. Do you reckon we can get in there? Yeah. Entrance. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. beautiful little town called Denton and it's just north of Dallas and uh, check this uh, what is it Cheryl? Town Hall. So uh, it used to be the court, county courthouse. County courthouse place. Now it's a museum. Oh, now it's a museum. Let's walk, walk hither into it. Oh this is so beautiful. There's a building on a the corner there. So the Greek Roman of that's proper old. Check it out. Look at this bit of old world. It's mad good. Take the package. Super pretty. Super cool. They got really, really cool music here as well. Everywhere. You go, brother. Yeah, man, do it. That's my brother from another mother. Here we go. Okay. Much of from Wales, UK. One off. Flatter Bridge, here in Texas. Yeah, man. He is here. here Texas. We're here to do a song. Texas. You line. people. Woo! Woo Much love, up the vibration. Woo! Yeah. Okay. We're feeling here we good. Go. Okay.
was right to dance in the street. Yeah. Down in the road. The New York City. All we need is music. 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 For the music everywhere. The world be between the swearing. The records play. Possible because we're massive oh, non giving fuckers. Sean, flat thumbs to the flat British pits. It's going down. I've got Johnny, Johnny Gibro, flat thumbs, and Jason Archaix, and Maxage. I noticed yesterday we've all got round glasses. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I mine are a little bit different, but they are essentially the same. British. Yeah, I know, one British, that's it. So, <laughs> no, I got a weirded by Cheryl. I'm not weird anymore. Because yes. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Impa Productions, filming the next Tatarian movie. Epicness. Woohoo! So some sort of event uh, which we were discussing. Do you, do you think some of the land will rise and some of the land will fall? I, I wish you would have asked me that because I can because give a perfect example. I can give a perfect example. Well, no, that's what I'm thinking. Check this out. In 1890, from 1890 to about 1910, excavations were done by German archaeologists at Tiwanaku in South America. 
and it blew their minds that Lake Titicaca is the only freshwater lake in the world that has starfish, jellyfish, sharks, and all kinds of things that only grow in salt water. Right. So they studied the area a little bit more, and they did excavations, and they found docking bays, quays, and they realized, wait a minute, this might have, ships would have come here. So they looked even further out, and on the mountains, they found the ancient coastline. Wow. 14,000 miles above sea level. Tijuana, this was Lake Tijuana, 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 Tijuana. Tijuana. It was an upheaval uh, and it just stayed up. The right. Andes Mountains rose 14,000 feet. Uh, and now uh, even modern okay. archaeology admits that this is now. Right, so just make countries turn on one another under order and fight one another in wars. So we won't be wanting anyone back in the future, okay? It's all good. So there it is, the holy, first time you'll see these two together, there's the first two of the series, the holy grail of the great reset and my first book. ancient history how many times I've done this see and I think as Martin said earlier there's nothing new under the sun all this technology we're using is old technology I wasn't spoken about who's, who's familiar with my walker talks and radio shows many people I've often talked about scrying mirrors and stuff like this like these cell phones these black mirrors if you look at the stories of witchcrafts and covens and you know, witches and all this sort of stuff Let's talk about scry mirrors, these black mirrors that you look into which tell you the future and the past, everything. It made no sense if you've got an army on the high ground, you just shoot down onto the wall and everything's going to die. So, you know, that's not a, you know, a feasible defensive strategy. But we picked up on something concerning these castellations you might see here. Have you seen these? The crenellations. You know, what you get like on castles, etc. Before we talk about the crenellations, this is, a, this, is a real, this is where 
the narrative begins to unravel. Yeah. Before that, can you show them an image of that wall disappearing into the sea? Yeah, of course I can. We are just finally decompressing <laughs> after six weeks of panic at the disco. Yeah, we're up here. It's like a tree house. And this is our back view. It's just nothing. <laughs> oh, a big flag of Texas, which is kind of cute. There's Martin. He's going, uh, he's going here. We got, look at this place. It's just so cutesy. It's got sunsets everywhere. This couch is hilarious. You'll see it later. <laughs> but it's just beautiful in here. You know, we've got do mine. Is that got it? <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> Travels uh, through Texas, we discovered something really cool. Check this place out. It's got loads of cool antiques. The place is mad, it's closed, but we're checking it out. It's got old model T4s. Check this, check this. I've never even seen one before. Check this. Check them. Wow, look at this, guys. Mm -mm. Fucking brilliant. Check them. Wow, look at this cute little one.
All right, it looks like your head is on fire, and it's like. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Look at you. So good. Hey, does it feel good? Oh, it's like it's the edge. So how do you like nowhere? Nowhere you say. Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay, nowhere. Yeah. I'm fresh, I'm cool, I'm all ready, so I don't drop, because I'm not very good swimmer. We're going in the fourth foot, she's in the deep end. Sure. You left him over there on the table. 